Is you bringing out personal stuff? Hey. And B didn't invite Blesso to the birthday okay, party. Okay, Chuck. Okay. That's why Chuck is Shaq with the ball. I wish, <laughs> I wish he would have just moved Shaq, over next a little time you too invite Chuck to your birthday party. All we'll right, uh, they're not friends. We are Shaq Suits, not white. Don't ask him. It is the American Express halftime report. Tight one here in the first half between the Bucks. And the Sixers, let's, uh, let's start with uh, some American Express teammates. And you think when you look at these two teams, for the Bucks, it's about Giannis and then whom? We talked about that. You mentioned Middleton, Shaq, and so far those two outdoing Redick and Embiid. Of course, you're not having Jimmy Butler on the other side with Phillies out tonight. Look, they're, they're, they're playing good basketball. Uh, they had a nice lead. Uh, Philly fought their way back, but I like the way they're playing. Now, Giannis specifically playing tonight. Good to see him back in there. Give us a sense of what you saw through some footage here in the first half. Well, time. I don't really know what Giannis' position is, but tonight I see battle of big men. So roll the tape. You know, some talk about who's the best big man in the league, and, you know, Giannis said, you know what, let's just let our peers decide. And he's actually going at Joel Embiid. I know last time they played Embiid at 40, but look, he's going at him, drawing fouls, taking it to him. You know, Embiid is saying back up and shoot the jumper, but he has guard skills he could you know, close the space. This, and right here, I really love this. You post up, they double, it comes a double, get it out to your teammates, let somebody else create. And this is why, uh, in, in my opinion, he's the MVP. Plays aggressive, plays smart, plays defense, keeps everybody involved. I like the way this kid is playing. You mentioned aggressive, and BD were watching the first half, and you're watching Simmons, and that's a word that maybe you'd like to see more of on the other side. What is it about Ben's game that you want to see him kind of elevate as we head in here, final stretch? Well, I want to see Ben Simmons pick up the pace. You know, you're being the point guard of, you know, the Philadelphia 76ers. You have to push with pace because that allows you to flatten out the defense. And when you see with him, kind of like this casual tried and probing, the pass back to Embiid is not really getting them anything. Look at their spacing. They are, they are confused on offense, but when he pushes the ball with thrust and velocity, great things happen for them because he can use his size to see over the defense or to create shots. But I think he needs to do what Giannis is doing and pound, pound, jump hook. You know, make the defense come to him and du double team and be a force instead of being a facilitator. Took only four shots, had seven assists in the game, facilitating, as you said, Embiid, we saw even wincing in warm-ups, weren't sure he'd play back after missing three with the knee. What did you see, Candace, in the first half? Yeah, I think Embiid is great when he builds from the inside out. And in the first half, as BD showed in his highlight, it was a lot of Ben Simmons throwing back to Embiid. And I think this is a shot that the entire Eastern Conference is willing to live with with Embiid. It just didn't seem like he established himself down low. Obviously, he's missed a couple games, is a little rusty uh, and getting up in shape, but that's where I want to see him most of the time, not settling for that jump shot, getting into the paint, uh, because I think he's a force. He has six assists and really can dominate and ha have to bring the double if, um, if he's not scoring. And that's what everybody always says about Embiid. You know, he is such a great player, uh, you know, physically talented. They would like to see him inside more, dominate more, but, you know, he settles too much for the jumper. You know, part of that is the way they're running their offense, though, right, BD? Yeah. Because he's coming in as the trailer. We're sitting there watching the play. It's almost like an easy DHR dribble handoff, if you will, where he's by himself and almost you've that got Ben nothing. just kind of sitting there like, yeah, a, he, like a fullback. That has nothing to do yeah. with anything. I don't right. care what play they call. Slow it down. Slow it down. Wait I'm, for the I'm big the last one. I don't care. Yep. Get it to the guard. I'm going on this side right there, swing it, boom, and, yeah. then, and then we run offense. I don't care what Or even if he but probes and flatten the, flattens it out, it gives Embiid enough time to get to the other side of the block. They're not moving the ball at all around the perimeter. So if Ben Simmons can get down the floor, then Embiid will get down the floor. And it's I mean, a I shame agree. that, sorry to cut you off, it's a shame that they're 14th in the league when it comes to point base. They should, should definitely be in the top five. Go ahead. Honestly, a lot of it has to do with him running the floor. I mean, yeah. we said it, we noticed it early on. He's, he's huffing and puffing right now and not in the greatest of shape from missing games. So I think it's him sprinting rim to rim and getting that early position too. All right, should be an interesting second half. And then uh, it's only the first half of our doubleheader. Can you name yet three Lakers who are playing later? Come on, come on. Yeah, uh, Caruso. Lance, Lance. Rondo. Rondo. Caruso.